So our first day of fishing was pretty spectacular. We got some really nice bass, but we said to Tim, if anything happens, you know, if they stick around, let us know. We'll come back, we'll do some more fishing. And for pretty much the next two or three weeks, Tim was booked and he kept saying, I'm, we're still catching big fish. When the pogies are here, the bass are here, it's amazing. Then we got word from Tim that something had changed. The pogies were still around, but some big bluefish had moved in. And he said, you gotta come down. It's, it's National Geographic. There's bluefish going through the pogie schools, coming out of the water. So we came back down again to get back out on the boat. And sure enough, we get out here. And where we before, we saw these schools of pogies that were tight, happy, feeding pogies, some stripers around the outside. Now it was just carnage, just chaos. These bluefish just tearing through and sending pogies into the air, huge splashes and a different type of fishing, still really exciting. It wouldn't surprise me if you catch a blue, it would shock me if you catch a bass. All right, I got the magic swimmer now. Here they come. Oh, he's on it already. Look at him, look at him. Oh! Oh! So they will hit a, uh, the blues will hit a plug, like you said. Boy, right just behind all those pogies, there's just a wolf pack, probably about a dozen. Oh! <laughs> Doubled up. These are ferocious. Well, look, look at, at them. them. There had to have been 10 behind them. They're all piled up on the other side of that orange boom there. Look at him trying to grab it out of his mouth. Oh, man, this is fun. Oh, those are big, angry blues. Careful, I'm happy to grab the net for you. Just managed to have the easiest unhooking ever. I can't say I'm upset about that. Got Tim's big blue here. This guy ate a live pogey. Big, healthy, strong blue fish. He's mean. He wants to bite you. All right, let me get him back in. Happy to see that guy get away easy. Look at all the pogies up inside here. Something big just came and swatted at it. Oh! <laughs> like that. <laughs> that does not stop being fun. <laughs> it just doesn't. That's the right tackle to use for fish like this. Really it's uh, pretty light spinning gear. Yeah, I, I like to use the 50s for this, but there's really, there's no real difference in the drag. It's just capacity of line. So the 40s are equally as good. 30 pound test braid, right bend in the rod. 80 pound fluoro only because of the blues. 80 pound tends to be able to resist their teeth. And with 80, I can do this. So you really have no chance when you snag a pogey here. You're not getting it more than five feet away from the school before the blues are on it. I snagged a pogey, and I think it got hit by five different blues and hooked into that one. Yeah, they like to eat their way up it. The first one takes the tail, the next one takes the next <laughs> part, and then finally one gets to the hook. That one's right around 11. So double-digit bluefish right in downtown Boston. You can't get much more downtown National than this. National Geographic type feeds happening as they just destroy the <laughs> pogie schools. We've had a couple weeks now of just bass on these pogies, and now the big blues have moved in. There could still be some big bass underneath. There but... probably is big bass underneath, but it's tough to get to. Exactly. Let's release this guy. Off he goes to ravage more bait. <laughs> 